Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have the Tigger movie. Uh, it's a wonderful thing. Tigger's a wonderful thing. And uh, it's a wonderful little movie. It's uh, it's about an hour and 21 minutes long. It's from 2000, so it's got a little bit of modern, a little bit of digital animation here and there, rarely. And it's got some... Yes, it's modern for the time, but I like that they keep with the, the rough-edged sketching look of the characters. Uh, there's not just clean lines uh, when, you're, when you're looking at the edges of the, of the characters. It, it looks more penciled, even though maybe it every frame isn't. Um, maybe it is. I, I'm not really sure. I can't really tell. This is a nice little mix of things. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it, it looks great. Uh, it's when normally you'd figure uh, a lot of the movies around this time were sort of special cash-ins, uh, direct-to-video cash-ins. I'm not sure if this went to theaters or not. I, I, I didn't really check, but uh, it feels like it, it, it did. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a quality, fun little, wholesome, wholesome core. It is a, it's, it's what you get when you deal with uh, Winnie the Pooh-type uh, stories. Uh, they're so, in, so incredibly sweet and wholesome, and everybody sort of wants the best for each other. Although there's a little bit of conflict here um, in this story, because it's all about Tigger. It's not about Pooh. Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore, Rabbit, Kanga, and Roo, Owl. Everybody's pretty much in this uh, throughout. Uh, it's But it's focused on Tigger, because Tigger has made a point in his song that uh, he's the only Tigger. It's, and it's a wonderful thing that he's... Uh, He's, a, he's his own man. He's the only one of his kind. Uh, when he tries to always visit everybody's houses and say, hey, let's go bouncing, everybody's sort of like, okay, seriously, you need to chill out. We can't bounce like you can. We're not Tiggers. It'd be, wouldn't it be great if you could find Tiggers like yourself? <laughs> and that puts it in his head. They don't say it in those exact words, but they're like, we can't keep up with you. You're so full of energy. And, you know, we can't, you're, you're destroying everything in, in your path, uh, and we just can't really have that. Um, so it gets it in his head that maybe he has family out there, too, like Kanga and Rue are family, mother and son. Um, and he learns from Owl that uh, there's such a thing as a family tree, and that the family tree that he has must be huge, and so, and striped, and, and orange, and just full of people, and he keeps fantasizing, making up this entire elaborate story of what Tigger, a Tigger family might be like. And there's a number of stories that uh, figure, a number of songs, I should say, that figure into, uh, that actually give us a little peek into his imagination, which also delves into modern pop culture of 2000 at the time, um, that we don't usually see in Winnie the Pooh type stories. Uh, there's everything from references to classic film like Marilyn Monroe uh, to uh, modern uh, modern day TV series and music and everything else. It's uh, there's a number of different little references throughout uh, at least one of the songs, and uh, it's it's kind of uh, it's a kind of a fun little tweak that we don't normally see in Winnie the Pooh universe stories. Um, but beyond that. Um, we have all the usual uh, voices. Jim Cummings as Tigger, of course. We got John Fied Fiedler as Piglet. Because uh, I'm looking at his face here, and I keep remembering he was also a live-action actor, and, and the voice and the face are unmistakable. When you see him on camera and you hear him speak, you're like, that's Piglet. That's it's not a voice that he's affecting. Maybe it's a little bit more childish and more exaggerated, I think, when he plays Piglet. More simple. Uh, but... That's John's voice. The voice you hear of Piglet is John Fiedler's voice. Uh, Peter Cullen, Optimus Prime, is Eeyore once again. Uh, so yeah, it's there's a lot of the usual suspects doing the voices in this. So it's yeah, it's it's everything you expect it to be, um, and it's adorable and it, it's it speaks to a desire to uh, find family in those around you, not necessarily in blood. Uh, but in the family that you find. Um, and 
Tigger has that in spades. And uh, his friends try to convince him that even though he's off on a mission to... He, he's deluded himself into believing that there's got to be just tons of Tiggers out there that he just has never found. And, and when he... When they make the mistake of writing a letter from the Tiggers, uh, pretending that they're Tiggers, he takes it so very seriously. And, uh, yeah, he, uh, he's expecting them to show up. Even though they never said that they're going to show up tomorrow, uh, he takes it a bit seriously and prepares a big deal. And they, of course, it spins out of control from there. And I won't, I won't spoil it for you, but, uh, yeah, it, uh, it comes into a little bit of a clash between uh, Tigger and the rest of his friends as to what's important and who's important. And uh, there's a big adventure that they uh, are led through uh, toward the end uh, before they reconcile. You know they're going to reconcile. It's, there's not going to be a, you know, a big cliffhanger, you know, Empire Strikes Back. Is Han Solo going to be in carbon freezing forever? Is Darth Vader Luke's father? Yeah, there's none of that stuff. Um, but does he find uh, more Tiggers? By the end of the film, that's also another big question to uh, find out. And if he does, what happens? How does that does that change anything? So, yeah, it's if you haven't seen the Tigger movie, then uh, and and you got if you love the Winnie the Pooh stuff, no matter how old you are, you can still enjoy this kind of stuff. But uh, it's, it's especially great for kids. Uh, the characters are also very vibrant and humorous and and adorable. Rue, little Rue, is so freaking cute. Uh, because he sees Tigger as his bouncy big brother, and uh, it's something that Tigger, he sees he sees Rue as his little buddy, um, but I don't know if he uh, he fully understands, at least at the beginning, just what he means to Rue and what kind of role model he is to Rue and how close uh, Rue considers them to be, and uh, just his expressions and how much he tries to work to to be just like Tigger uh, is something that's just adorable to watch. So, yeah, I think uh, if you get a chance, uh, give this a shot, especially if you have kids in the house that haven't seen this yet. And the little, 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 little ones will get into it. But, again, any age. Some of the older ones might be a little bit jaded. But, eh, you watch it and maybe somebody will join in. It's, it's fun. It's a fun little watch. So let's pick tomorrow's. Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and this is taking a while to load for some reason. <laughs> oh boy! Um, but no, um, what else can I tell you about this while this thing loads? It's uh, yeah, I'm drawing a complete blank, and all that I hope I hope all that background noise is not bleeding through the neighbors making a racket. Um, that's why I should did try to do these. At times that people aren't around, but <laughs> this is taking forever. I'm sorry. Let me uh, let me check something here. I, I don't want to break the thing here because you know it's a, you know don't you think I'm cheating? Let's uh, okay that loads. Need the random page to open. Thank you. Finally. Um, yeah, I said this is an hour and 21 minutes, it's from 2000, and, uh, yeah, I, 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 I didn't, also didn't expect this to have a lot of songs, I just expected it to be a straight-on adventure. There's actually a number of musical, uh, sequences, and it, they're actually good, they're, they're not just, like, toss-offs, um, they're they're solid little musical numbers, uh, and especially and especially how they're animated, and especially if, in Tigger's mind, how uh, he imagines the Tigger family to be. Um, at least in two different songs, you see that um, it's it's fun stuff. So let's pick tomorrow's. Come on, come on, generate. Are you broken? What's going on? Come on. one thirty. I have a feeling we've already had this one, so we're kind of wasting our time with this one. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. Uh, this is uh, actually a Disney Plus original, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. 
it's a series. It's sort of a live reality show series. I think uh, we'll only watch a few of these, one or two. We'll get the gist out of this pretty easily. It's Disney Fairy Tale Weddings. Disney Fairy Tale Weddings on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. Should be interesting. Maybe we'll see some weddings taking place in the parks, which we cannot go to right now, at least here in California. Uh, Florida, you can go, but you probably shouldn't. <laughs> well, let's not get into that. We'll talk to you later. Tomorrow, ta-ta for now, TTFN on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge.